And here we are again today on Blue Shift Ministries. We're going to continue with the book of Deuteronomy, which is part of the Dead Sea Scrolls. Now, here we are when we go into the theme and structure. Moses' emphasis on the covenant throughout Deuteronomy is remarkable. He testified it is important by repeating, repeatedly calling the new generation of Israelites to follow its provisions, 30, 11, 20. In fact, Deuteronomy as a whole reflects the pattern of ancient Middle Eastern treaty between a Lord and a servant. I'm going to go into that Lord and servant. That's very important. Lord and servant. Now, Father's not saying it's just for this particular people. It's not just for the Middle East. And the reason why Father is bringing this up is because the tribes were scattered. It's a young man who questioned about the, the 12 tribes. And I immediately answered him. I said, the 12 tribes, they were scattered due to Solomon's betrayal to Father. And they were scattered throughout the Mediterranean, the Middle East, and yes, even as far as Africa. I'll do a separate video on that. I'll do a video on the 12 tribes and I'll do a video for each of the 12 tribes. The typical pattern of such a treaty with the approximate corresponding sections in Deuteronomy is as follows. A premental of introduction, 115. A review of the past relationship between the parties, 16449. Basic stipulations that ensured fidelity to the treaty, 512619. Sanctions in the form of blessings and cursings. 27, 1, 30, 20. We're going to go deep into that. The blessings and the cursing sanctions in the form of blessings and curses. That's very important. We're going to go deep into that. What does Father mean by sanctions in the form of blessings and curses? Five, witnesses to the treaty. And six, a provision of the storage and reading of the treaty through 31, 1, 34, 12. Now let's go deeper in the sanctions. That's very important. What does Father mean by sanctions of the blessings and the cursings and the curses? This is Father's consequences if you do not follow. This is the part you have to understand. When Father lays down the law, remember, this is about, remember Moses, the book of Moses is about laying down the law, the, the Mosaic covenant. There's going to be blessings to those who abide by Father's covenant and there's going to be curses who don't. That's just, that's just the consequences. That's the reality that most people miss out here. You cannot have one or the other. The witnesses to the treaty, more than likely it was the one I believe Father inspired Moses to choose many elders to look after them. So they more than likely were the witnesses. The provisions of the storage and the reading of the treaty, the provisions, what it's going to provide for storage for readings of the treaty, what is going to provide meaning, what is going to provide for generations after generations. While these similarities exist, the book of Deuteronomy does not slavishly follow the typical treaty structure, but we can conclude that it was written with a basic treaty pattern in mind. Moses impressed on, on his readers the importance of the covenant, not only with the repeated ex exhortions, but also with the structure of the book itself. With Moses' warnings and their renewed commitment to God's covenant, the people were finally ready to enter the promised land. I want to put a lot of emphasis on here. So you see Father here gave preparation for his people. I'm going to highlight this. He gave preparation for his people. He gave preparation for his children to not only know the covenant, follow the covenant, but also have their generation after generation follow the covenant. So no one who entered the promised land before him was not unprepared. You see, Father prepares his children. He refines his children like gold before he gives you that divine transfer. It's right here. It's all right here. He prepares his children. Make no mistake of it. Father will never give you anything unprepared. He will always send you signs. He will send you messages. He will send you people even. He said, Moses, you will not be left unprepared. Let's move on. The previous commands to enter Canaan. Now... We're going to stop right here because I believe this 
needs another video. But I want all of you to remember what Father did for all of us before him, for his children, for his people. He gave them preparation before they entered the promised land. It's right here. Promised land. He gave them the covenant, the rules, the laws. He even gave them the action, what they need to do. So no one entered not knowing. No one entered not knowing. Don't ever forget that. We must fast, repent, bloodline cleanse, and be obedient. Believe in Jesus always. Amen.